Welcome back to the ocean depths and my 100 day journey as a mermaid. These next 10 days are going to be quite a ride. Now before we get into any of that, I wanted to thank you all for the support on the first episode. Tons of you guys have been asking me if I'll be releasing the mod pack, and I was originally going to wait until this series concluded to release it. But if we can get this video to 1000 likes, I'll release it during the next episode. Anyway, let's get into the video. This is a very violent way to start my day, but I needed to enter the nether to see how my mermaid 4 would react. Not only did my bubbles rapidly deplete, but I stepped on a fire flower. Ouch. I immediately abort and try to go back into the portal, but apparently I screwed that up and nearly got myself killed. As I anticipated, it didn't go well. Okay, wow. I am running away. I am running away. That was bad. Anyway, my only idea at this point was to make a cauldron and hope that if I sit in it with some water, I won't suffocate. And if it doesn't work, well, I am genuinely out of immediate options. Whoa! What? Mimic octopus, that's so cool! I wonder if he- Oh my god, that is awesome! They actually changed color! Dude. Okay, here we go. I'm praying that this will work. Mission failed. I thought of my backup idea, which was to make water breathing potions. But that requires brewing stands, which requires, right, the nether. So, now what? Well, I could try to find some potions and bury treasure chests, right? Ch oh, ow. Why am I taking damage? Why am I taking damage? Is it you? Oh my god, this place is so aggro. Luckily, I saved a buried treasure map, but I idiotically threw a few others away while I was looting earlier. Let's give this one a shot, though. I'm sleeping through the end of day 10 really quick, and now we can officially start day 11. By the way, an accurate day counter will be added on day 16. Alright, let's find this treasure. This looks like the spot. Jackpot! Two potions. That means six minutes in another. Ooh, and a diamond. So, the way water breathing works for a mermaid is that it allows me to breathe air by negating my bubble timer. It'll make more sense once you see it in action, but it works. I'm back home now. I'm going to make myself a diamond sword and chest plate before I go into the portal again. I think we're ready to go to the nether. Let's try this again since our cauldron method completely backfired. Okay, I'm here and I'm already on fire. Curse these stupid flowers. Time to drink my first potion. The countdown begins. Let's just hope I can find a blaze before I run out of time. I'm in complete panic focus mode during this entire trip. The lack of time really stressed me out. But I also wanted to collect a bit of warped wood since I got lucky with my spawn location. That's what I came to the nether for anyway. What is that? That's like a whole ass lava dinosaur. <gasps> Mushroom girl. Oh god, I'm already on my last potion. Damn it, I need to be quick. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it. Well, somehow I actually ended up finding a fortress. I didn't even notice it was there till a blaze shot at me since it blended in so well. Okay, in I go. In and out, just a few rods. The second I get my stuff, I'm teleporting to a waypoint back to my portal and getting the hell out of here. That's probably the only way I can make it out of here alive, let's be honest. Ooh, nether wart. I need this too and I completely forgot. I ran around the fortress like crazy, but I didn't get a single blaze rod. I have to TP back to my portal now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Holy crap. One heart. That was genuinely the most terrifying loading screen of my life. Damn it, now I have to do this all again. 
I need more potions. I look up some recipes to see if there's alternative ways of getting water breathing. Apparently there is. This squid pet could potentially work. Well, I craft one since I can. I'm praying this little guy will actually work for me. Oh my god, this makes us really fast. <laughs> this is insane, no way. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that is crazy. What the heck? This is faster when you're not even in, in swim form. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't tell me. Welp, that was a fail. Time to go looking for more treasure maps. Well, here's one. Let's see where it leads to. No! Damn, no potions. In other news, I found a pirate ship. Uh-oh. This water was actually a lifesaver and kept me out of reach from these vindicators. They're all dead. Let's see what loot I got. Honestly, nothing special. Back to searching for a map. I was just wandering around on the surface for a while, trying to find a village with a brewing stand, not realizing I would still need blaze powder to power it. But I instead found an igloo. Okay, well, I have a brewing stand, but I still need to freaking power it. These little sand things are cool. Diamond, sponge, and an ocelot pet. I spent so much freaking time looking for maps, it was driving me crazy. Just be thankful I can cut all that out for you guys. Finally! Potions! I'm back home. It's time to organize, then get back into the nether. Hopefully, the next trip will be more successful. Here we go. I'm not scared at all. I teleport to my fortress waypoint just to save me a little time. Now let's get to work. The ocelot pet gave me some serious night vision. It's almost too bright. This already got super dangerous. Luckily, I have a lot of golden apples. Hi. Please, please, please. Yes! Yes! Yay! First place rod acquired! Okay, let me eat. Charge! Yes! Yes! These chests were pretty good too. Here you are. Nope, you can't hit me now, can ya? Okay, got another one, yes! Okay, we got three blaze rods. That's enough for now. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, three blaze rods. I can work with that. It's time to get some brewing going. These wilden spikes can be used for water breathing, and luckily I collected a few. Oh, eight minutes too. 
Oh my god, this is amazing. We can make another one now. Yay! I have four more spikes, which means potions for days. Now we can go back, but this time to collect resources for my next build project. I'm going back to the warp forest to collect as much of these trees as I can. I'm going to need quite a bit. Can't forget the glowstone, a must-have for every build project. Oh! Hi! Oh my god, I'm coming back for you. Mushroom girl spotted. You know what this means. I went back home to get some rotten flesh and a tiny bed. Now I can go back and tame her. Yay! A new friend! I'll have to make sure not to let her die like my sea bunnies did. I had to use up a water breathing potion just to tame her, so I decided to explore the surface until my effect runs out. I want to try to find some sugarcane since I'll be needing that if I ever want to reach my quest goal of enchanting. Oh, what is that? Do you see that? This is something I've never seen before. I was so curious and just had to explore. I noticed the blocks are from the mod Hexaray, so I guess that's where the structure comes from? I am a big fan of these houses. This place looks so insanely cozy, especially in the rain. Wow, this is awesome. Dude, mermaids are missing out. Check this out, they even have a cool witch garden. I have two more minutes until my potion runs out, so I continue gathering resources. Oh, lizard! Hello! I need to make an air, air dry place for all of my little pets. Because it's not a love star series without a bunch of pets. <laughs> I'm back home! Let's get back to business. It was nice taking a little break up on the surface, but the ocean is my home after all. I want to first place down my mushroom girl so she can stretch her legs. Eventually, I'll need to give all my future air-breathing pets a nice home. I'm gonna name you... Lava Cake. Lava Cake doesn't really have a good home, but hopefully this warp fungus helps. Even though she's a crimson girl. Oops. My house is so incredibly disorganized. I'm too lazy to sit down and make a proper chest system. Gotta make sure I'm smelting as much glass as I can, cause it's time to work on the build I've been planning this whole time. I quickly went out to plant all my sugar cane so it can start growing while I build. I think I forgot to sit lava cake down. Oh shoot! Lava cake, no! Oh, she hit him! Oh no, die. Oh my god, lava cake. That was very dangerous. She slapped that creeper. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back inside. You need to sit down. Okay, just stay here. The build has officially begun. It took me a while to finally get to it. Now, just letting you guys know, I'm completely winging this. I have no real plan, no strategy, just a rough vision. For the record, I genuinely don't know if I'll be able to finish this build in this video. It might take me more than these 20 days. Day counter is here. Oh, and a new mod, Unusual Fish. I absolutely love it. Such silly creatures. I just remembered that I can finally replace my doors with warped, just as I originally intended. Much better, don't you think? I have to go up to get some sand. Not sure why I didn't sleep through the night first, though. On the bright side, I got to level 30. The shoveling goes on for quite a while. Thank 
god that's over. At least for now. I'm taking these pufferfish's backup potion ingredients. I forgot that I could just kill them instead of trapping them in buckets though. But who wants to kill poor innocent pufferfish? Yeah, I killed them anyway. Sorry little guys. Sand smelting time! Yay! Not sure how I feel about these pop-ups. The day counter is in the game, so not sure what I can do about that. What the hell is this thing? Oh my gosh, I got the Rana hat. I love this one. Coal mining's free. I need this for fueling my sand smelting. I'm still not producing enough glass, so it's time to upgrade my smelting factory. I wanted to check up on lava cake, and miraculously, the tree grew. It trapped my poor girl inside the leaves though. I love her so much. Snatched up the sea bunny, third time's the charm, right? Just gonna make this so it's ready for later. How fun! More sand collecting! This build is incredibly tedious. It really only gets worse from here. This has become my favorite part of underwater building. Sea pickles! Had to get some more though. They just add such a beautiful glow, especially at night. We're just going to ignore the orca stuck inside my house. Anyway, I finished the exterior of my build for now. Here comes the torturous part, draining the inside. I make use of the sponges I collected from the little sand structures from earlier, but this is my first time properly using sponges, so I really don't know how to use them effectively. Okay, this clearly isn't efficient. I decided to tackle this a different way. I had a lot of calcite stored up from mining out some geodes, so I make use of it to divide the building into four quadrants. This way, I can drain smaller areas at once. This seems to work a little smoother. I took a break to go looking for more sponges, cause if I want to get this draining done by day 20, I'm going to need a lot more. I'm back with tons of sponge. This should be way easier now. Less swimming back and forth to dry them off. The only sad part of this is that the coral is dying. Well, my test quadrant officially worked. Time to put up the other walls and get to work. It's day 20 and I have one more quadrant left. I hope to finish this before the day ends. Everything is drained, but the day isn't over yet. Let's get rid of this calcite too. I am finally done! It looks so cool inside without all the water. Even looking out into the ocean inside of this structure is awesome. 
Now we just gotta work on the interior, but that'll be for next time.